Um, in this video, we'll be looking at the use of sliders. And we've started by leaving the Cartesian coordinate system up. And I've also entered this function down in the input box. Um, it's a cubic function, x cubed plus a dummy variable a times x. Now, if I hit enter, you would see that I get invalid undefined variable. So what I need to do is I'm going to create a slider with the name a. We want it to be a number. We can go from, we can change the interval to whatever we like. We can change the increment to whatever we like. And we can also um, determine whether we want it to be horizontal, whether we want it to be vertical, and exactly how long I want the slider in terms of pixels. Um, right now, we'll just look at from negative 5 to 5 increments of 1 tenth, say apply. Now I've got this interval. Notice it also shows up under the algebra pane. Now, if I hit enter, my function is completely reasonable. And in fact, we see that that a, that, was re that a is replaced with the slider value of a. And in fact, I can now take a and slide it back and forth. And I see how that influences the graph of the picture. So now, let's suppose that uh, I have this function and I've got the slider value. Um, I can also do things like find extreme values for the function. We'll say for the polynomial f of x and it shows where the extreme values are where the max and min happen to be and so we'll notice that it also changes dynamically as we change the slider let's do one more interesting thing let's say derivative of this function we want the function f of x, oops, f of x. It automatically will give you the derivative. Now let me make the derivative a different color. Let's say that it's red. Oops, that's not what I want. Ugh, cancel. I'm not sure why it's not coming up a different color. Let me see if I can color the other one. Let's see if I can color. Oh, it's because I'm still stuck on slider. Ha ha. All right. Now, let's see if I can color it. There we go. So see, good thing to remember. Um, make sure that you know where you are on your buttons. <laughs> So uh, I've colored it red. So now I can see that the derivative is different from my original function. Notice what happens again. It'll change dynamically if we look at these sliders. And in fact, uh, a final interesting note, I'm going to place a point, a movable point on the function. So notice I can now drag this point around onto the original function. And you'll see it represented over in the algebra as well. And I'm going to create a tangent from that point to the curve. And so we'll watch as I drag that point around. Notice that when we get to the extreme value here, oh, Look, the slope is zero, 
and my derivative evaluated at that point is zero. Ha ha. We come down, we notice that this extreme value slope is zero. Ha ha. If we look at what's happening right here, again, we're crossing at zero. So some interesting things that you can do.